and they're just trying to irk me. But hello, guys. Welcome, welcome. It is so great to have you guys on. This is the last show of the weekend. I am so excited to have this wonderful guest, and his name is Logic. I'm really excited. Make sure you come in, get a get a cup of water, you know, get a get a drink or two in a two step, and um, we're just gonna have a good time. So- <laughs> My guy, how are you? Man, I'm doing well. How about yourself, bro? I can't complain. How was your day? How's your day going so far? Uh, man, you know what? I, today is the the first day that I, I what the, I was down with COVID for a few days. Really? And today I'm I, I think I'm as close to 100 percent that I've been in a while. So, man, I'm good. not you being down and out. Down and out. <laughs> sick and shut in. Sick and shut in, man. <laughs> Give a big prayer. But it is so great to have you on. Definitely welcome to the Please Don't Irk Me show. Um, yeah, just tell us a little bit about your brand. And uh, yeah. Um, so the brand logic, as it is, started in maybe like uh, 2020, early or, or mid-2020. And uh, okay. logic, logic is just an acronym. So it, 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 uh, its inception was based on, it's just a pushback. Because, you know, 2020 was when podcasts, especially relationship podcasts, yeah. really started kicking off. Took over. <laughs> yeah, man, big time. If, Everybody wanted to talk about relationships, man. Relationship, oh, relationship, relationship. So, so with it, within that, come the day in their life. <laughs> no, no, not a, everybody was the expert, man. Everybody was the expert. But uh, so within that conversation, there there was just a a, a subsection of the conversation where uh, oh, men are logical and women are emotional, and you know that mm-hmm. whole rhetoric idea. And uh, mm-hmm. so, logic is just a pushback on. The idea that logic isn't the absence of emotions and emotion mm. isn't the absence of logic. I think duality is needed to function in a healthy way. So logic, uh, I made an acronym that showed that uh, there can be emotions within logic and logic stands for love offers grace in chaos. What, what inspires you to touch the heart of people? I know that um, you're really good with people. I'm not. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, I don't... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I know a lot of people with my personality. I know people are like, oh, you have to be a people person. I'm just like, I am, but people irk me a lot. That's why I always say, please don't irk me. <laughs> but um, what inspires you to really touch the hearts of people, like for this to get this movement off of the ground? Man, si- simply, bro, I-, I like people. Believe it or not, mm-hmm. I-, I-, I like people. I-, I know a lot of people, you know, go along with the idea that I can't stand people. I No, I really do. Now, I don't like who I don't like. Of course. <laughs> I mean, the, for the most part, man, I, I, I would, in, in a perfect world, everybody I meet, I would like if mm-hmm. I had it my way, right? Okay. Um, most people, most people that I know are, are, are the people that I like. And then being a musician as well, I, I think it's, uh, I think subconsciously, most musicians, if not everybody, every musician or performer always try to find a new way or their way of connecting with their audience right mm-hmm. so I, I think it just comes with even, even you you know what i'm saying as a creator as a <laughs> as a, the, the gift that you are right <laughs> i think when we're by ourselves we're always looking looking for a way to reinvent the way that we do something that connects with the most people so even yeah. even though you don't like people i think there's a a, a good sense of you that really yeah. do and do like people enough to accommodate them to yeah. what you do, mm-hmm. you know? So yeah. I, I, I think that's kind of um, what inspires uh, me gravitating to people. Definitely at X, what demographic are you trying to reach with your platform? Um, is there like, is it like you want to reach black people, you want to reach women, you want to reach men, or is it more of like a, everybody can be involved? Definitely everyone, believe it or not, man, even in, in my music and just the way, uh, the, the way that I kind of have conversations with people, men also like mm-hmm. men, men as a capital like as, as a focus and the reason why i say that is because i, I think there is um there, there's not a love a lot of love given and a lot of love received from men at the same time mm. which leaves us as a deficit which kind of kills the whole function of mm-hmm. what this whole community thing could be Right. I, I think if, if how do you think that happens or like how, how, how do you think men come to that uh, conclusion that it's just like, um, especially black men? Well, mm-hmm. Why do you think there's always a, a deficit when it comes to that? 
I, I think we are the we are the cause and we are the the cure. The co- we are the cause mm-hmm. and the cure, right? I, mm-hmm. I, 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 first, right? I think there are other elements out there, but I think um, a lot of times we buy into a lot of untrue rhetoric. Mm-hmm. We do. We, years ago, uh, boys don't cry. It's just it's just right. the things that we mm-hmm. buy into. Mm -hmm. Um, For the most part, once again, I I do know that there are those outside elements that do contribute to our deficit and just whatever else. But I I think for the most part, what we choose to buy into is it works to our demise for the most part. Like me, uh, the the idea of being a gentleman. I've said Mm -hmm. it a few times in in my stream and and some people look at me funny. Yo, I don't I don't only want to be a gentleman to women. Mm -hmm. I want to be a gentleman to men as well. Mm-hmm. And I think like that, just that spread of love in, in being able to just just be a good person to to people to <laughs> everybody. Like I think it just connects the dots. That you, you know that's that's so crazy because even with you saying that as well, it's like I know some people are gonna look at that and be like, mm, that seems a little. This word that everybody really needs to get to let go of is sassy. Like I'm just like everything yeah. can't be sassy, y'all. I'm like that. Uh, I mean, a lot of people, you know. Um, and I think men are sometimes scared to show their soft side where they say, like, you know, like we talked about men are not supposed to be emotional or men are not supposed yeah. to cry and things like that. And uh, I believe that we're shutting off um, ways for men to express themselves, which leaves them all the time by themselves. And sure. which is like really sad. And I, I really hate that for all of us, because I really believe that we can all be on the same page. And even if we're not on the same page, we can still understand each other. For sure. Let's get into um, music because you are a music head, like a music, music, music head. I love it. I love so it. like you love, love music. So I know the music is a big part of your life. When did music actually like uh, seep into your life? Like what was like the day where you were just like, okay, music is where I need to be? Man, I'm a PK. A PK? Oh, yeah. oh man. Yes. <laughs> What's the nomination? Yes, Tell me, what, what's the nomination? What was it? Pentecostal. Pentecostal. Pentecostal, man, yeah. So Morning, P- afternoon, and night service. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, de- definitely PK, man. Pops had a church um, okay. for as long as I can remember. And uh, um, I was always the musician in his church. He, uh, I, I don't know how it happened, but, I, you know, when I was able to walk, I found myself at the keyboard trying to do aw. something. And uh, from the keyboard, uh High school offered uh, the opportunity, well, not high school, uh, school, grade school offered the opportunity uh, to be in the band. I chose the saxophone. So um, oh. third, third grade, I became a saxophonist. Is that where, what church where you learn most of your instruments? Because I know in church, you just have to just learn something. Like, just you know, you, 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 you're just not going to sit there each and every service. Get up, play the drums, <laughs> play the organ, do something, learn something. Yeah, yeah, Was yeah, that pushed yeah. upon you from your from your parents? Very much so. Very much so. It was, it was just get on the keyboard, learn how to do that. And, and I still talk about, uh, hold a grudge from my pops about, uh, there were times he would fuss at me, boy, play and, and, and do this. What, well, how do you do it? I, do it. Do it. Like he couldn't tell me how to do it, but he knew what he wanted me to do. But Black but parents people, are really something else. Just do it. I need to hear. Well, how, how, what, how does that look? How does Black parents they like sweep the floor. I never swept the floor before. You see, you know how to do it. Exactly. I'm, I'm trying my best. Don't yell at me. <laughs> and I just had to figure out how to how to do it. The it, mm. whatever it he was talking about, I had to try to make the best of the it on this keyboard. So, um, you yeah. always talk about the power of music. What is the power of music, and do you believe that it's being abused today? The, so, so the power of music, man. I, I think power the music has the ability to kind of shape the environment, shape the atmosphere if we were in church. Yeah. Um, yes, the shit. Has... My Lord. <laughs> right. There you go. <laughs> we love atmosphere, don't we? Okay. <laughs> well, we love, our... we love the shit. <laughs> but just music has that ability to to just uh, put you in whatever mode that you're, you're looking for. Um, even the mode that you're not looking for, it can be unassuming at times. Mm-hmm. Um, in, in fact, we... Uh, on my stream, we do we we do a game called a uh, playlist, right? And that's just mm-hmm. a game where they recommend the song, I play the song, and then we'll rate every song from uh, the scale of one to ten. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just a, it's 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 really interesting how to see the dynamics of the shift happens from one song to mm-hmm. the next so mm-hmm. quickly without fear, yeah. man. And 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 that's just indicative of the power of music within itself, man. Just how mm-hmm. it has the 
has the ability to just manipulate the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Now, do, do you think that it's being abused today with the music that's coming out? Um, because I know music is, like you said, very powerful and, you know, it's a really big movement. So do you think what's happening in the music industry that that power of music is being abused or being taken away or being used in a negative light? I do. I, I, I do. I, I think, um, I don't think music in itself um, is abusive. I think people are abusive, right? And it just, mm. you know, it's just, well, I don't think anything else that could be good um, is abusive. I think people are just abusive. And whenever ever anyone gets their hand on something good, uh, an abusive person gets their hand on something good that could be meant for good. It just turns abusive. But I, I, I do believe that it's, um, it, it's the, the influence of music is used um, in a not so good way. Do you think music is shaping good or is it shaping in a, a better way? Or do you think that like, we're just kind of doomed? <laughs> I think it's all of them. Really? Kind of sort of, right. <laughs> you no, know, no. I, but but I, but I do. But I, I also think it it it's dependent upon what you decide to make your environment. Mm. Right? Because it, it, like there's any there's every there's everything everywhere, mm -hmm. and and the idea is where do you choose to be? Mm. Like that's the question. Everything is everywhere. Everything right. is everywhere, but but where do you choose to reside? Other people, do you think music is one dimensional nowadays? Do you think that everybody is gravitating to just one side of music? Because I know that we have the little sexy reds, the lottos, the um, the other people that's like kind of coming up. So, do you believe that it's one dimensional right now? No, I, I in fact I know that it's not. You you know I was listening to uh to the, who listens to the radio these days, right? Right. Oh uh, lord. <laughs> but, I was, but I was listening to the radio, man, and, and today, yo, it's really hard to tell one genre from the next. It is. Like you, everything you, really I, sounds the same a little bit. I don't know what's R and B. I don't know what's like just hip hop. I don't know what's what's right. Rap so, nowadays. so every, everything and everybody has, intertwines everything too. Right. So, so I, I, I think it's a, I think it's a good thing. I, I don't think it's such a bad thing because I do feel that we've kind of merged different ideas of music and, and just what, you know, what the entire thing means. So yeah, I don't think that it's just one dimension. Do you think there are any good artists out today that are actually upholding the mantle of great music? Do you think that there are any people that set themselves apart from the people like, you know, the, the mainstream people? If you can like name some people who are some of the greats, you guys can name some too in, in the comments if you know, who you okay. think is really great nowadays? Oh man, let's go with uh and I know you'll agree, Duran Bernard. Oh. Let's go with let's let's go with Duran Bernard. <laughs> Absolutely. That um, boy is special. He is something special. Duran Bernard, there's Samo. Samo that oh. like, he's one one of a kind, man. One of a kind. Um one of a kind. But but then but then you have your heavy vocalist in that era uh era uh uh Avery. Avery Wilson. He, uh -huh. un, unmatched. Um, so yeah, though, the, those about three guys that I can say that are really, and, and there, of course there are more, but three guys that I can think of off the top of my head that are really holding it down for yeah, they are. music for real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I'm so happy that you chose to do uh, a male vocalist because I know a lot of people all, almost kind of gravitate to the female artists where they're right. saying like, well, this, well, of course, it's Jasmine Sullivan. Okay. Um, and then, you know, uh, I, I really love her. I think she's really great. Of not the, not not too many people know about Samara Joy, and I don't think she gets enough recognition for the vocals that she has. It is crazy yeah, the yeah. way her mind thinks. I think that's like really great. Play a game. Um, I do want to play vocal roulette. With I, you. I, I I rated some singers, okay, and the 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 singers that I rated was uh, Tank, Luke James. I rated uh, oh gosh, it was Tank, Luke James, Usher. Mario. and Mario, okay? So how would y'all rank them? See, this was my lineup, okay? From number four to number one, okay? And number one being the best. I said number four was Mario, okay? Yeah. Number three was Usher. Number two was Tank. And number one was Luke because nobody touching Luke. Now, I posted this video. Y'all go to my page right now, go check it out and see the comment section. Comment section is crazy. So one day I see that Logic is live on his page, okay? I just show up quietly, quietly. 
He stopped, he, and he DJing and everything, having a good time with his people. All I hear was, he said, Theo, we got to talk. I was like, I just, I just came here. What are we doing? We, we had to talk. We had to talk. And then, and then he got everybody included in the live to rank <laughs> the way that they need to be ranked. I'm like, this is low key bullying. I'm about to call HR. I feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> but listen, since we reconciled, because you had one that was we on point, I was like, yeah. I cannot, I cannot argue with you, man. You know, <laughs> so Absolutely. yeah, so vocal roulette. If you guys don't know the the rules, the rules are: I'm going to name two singers, okay, and you have to choose them off of vocals and vocals only, okay. We're not talking about careers or anything like that. So I'm going to name two names. You have to choose that person off of vocals and vocals only. The first one. You actually named two of them already, Duran Bernard or Avery Wilson. I'm going to go Duran. 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 Duran wh- wh- why you choose Duran? The reason why I'm going to go Duran Bernard is, even though I can always count on uh, Avery landing everything mm-hmm. perfectly, uh, Avery also doesn't exercise as much texture. Mm. as, as Duran as well. Duran plays with his voice more. Mm-hmm. He does. He, he plays does. with vowels and, and what he like he, he gives you just just a little bit more than, than Avery. Now the next one is Whitney or Aretha Franklin. Shoot. <laughs> Why does this one always get everybody? They be like, I'm so, wait, wait, hold on, give me. This, give this me is a, a little second. dangerous, man. It's 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 a little dangerous. <laughs> This could cancel you at any moment. <laughs> okay, I'm 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 gonna choose this woman in it in it in my mind it came down to just one moment that can't be okay. denied. I'm gonna choose Whitney Houston. And oh and in my mind the moment the, the, the thing that made me just go ahead and choose her was uh the Star Spangled Banner for the for the Super Bowl she did. I, I, I now now I know there are definitely some haters, right? Do you think that she lip synced that thing, or do you think she really sang it? I think. She, or do you, she do, you, really, do you think it was pre-recorded? I think she really sung it. I I mean, me too, because I know they said that you know at some point in the years that like it had to be pre-recorded, and then you know they'll play mm-hmm. like they'll they'll sing it before everybody's in the stadium, and then they'll play that version as you lip sync to it. Mm-hmm. So I'm glad that you actually said that like she really sang it because when that lip was trembling. I said, Whitney, <laughs> sing the daggone song. You better start. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please start. <laughs> the, the next one is Daryl Walls or is it Cardi Cortez? I'm going to choose Daryl Walls. I'm choosing Daryl because Daryl doesn't sing over my head. Mm. Zacardi does. Yeah. Okay. I think I, I think Zacardi resonates most with singers than actual listeners of songs. Mm, okay, I, I see where you're going with so that. So Zacardi yeah. for the singers, for for the for the for the technicality, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, but for the, yeah, for the acrobats, but but for like people who just want to hear a good song, Daryl, in my opinion. Yeah, I think Daryl never misses. I think there's never, never time misses. that I heard Daryl ever miss. But the next one, you're definitely going to hate me, okay? But it's Jasmine Sullivan or Brandy. <laughs> <laughs> You got to choose off vocals, vocals only. Jasmine Sullivan or Brandy, which one are you going with? Even though I love Jasmine, to, I love, 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 love Jasmine. Jasmine still, Jasmine still, not, <laughs> Jasmine still not doing no background vocals like Brandy. See me, I would choose Jasmine. Man, this hurts. I know, I know. I know at, at, at one point somebody tried to cancel me talking about, how could you ever choose? I'm just like, I think Brandy is fantastic. I really do believe that um, Jasmine has a wider range uh, than her. And I believe that her songs, um, not saying Brandy is one dimensional because she definitely is not whatsoever. But I do believe that uh, Jasmine could give me a lot of power and then she can pull it back too and kill it they're as here, well. you're talking about, don't do it, Logic. Don't do it, Logic. No, what? <laughs> Just pure vocals. I, I, I got to go Jasmine. I'm, yeah, 
We have to. I mean, I, I, I gotta go, Jeff. I mean, I love Brandy. Now let's let's talk about this, and then we'll go to the the last set. Did you hear the whole T.S. Madison thing of saying that Brandy is not the vocal bible, that she is the vocal notebook? How did you feel about that? Because I kind of thought I thought it was a little disrespectful. It was. I I, I think it was definitely disrespectful. Um, yeah. In in my mind, it could only come from someone who hasn't really delved into Brandy like that. Like you, no. you, 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 you couldn't have, dealt, especially being blessed by Whitney herself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and that's even when people uh, say they were like, Monica could sing better than Brandy. I'm just like, you really need to grow up. And I mean, today, there is no <laughs> way on God's green earth no. that Monica is ever touching Brandy. And it's crazy no. because uh, I have friends who would literally argue me down talking about well, Monica did this and Monica did that. And I was like, and she was probably flat. And that's <laughs> no shade to her whatsoever. She got bops on top of bops. That's, yeah. how about, that's how I feel about Mary J. Blige. That Mary J. Blige is not the best singer, but she got hit after yeah, hit yeah. after hit. Now, this next one, you definitely probably going to be like, all right, Theo, what am I supposed to do with this? So the next one is Wanye from Boys to Men or Tank. Dude, I, you, you mentioned those two names and I got a migraine. <laughs> just, just, just listen. She. <laughs> and we. And I we love gonna, that y'all loving this. This is great. Make sure y'all wow. keep liking the screen. I appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. yeah. And, 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 and uh, my, my folks over here are like, oh my god. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh. I'm, but but I'm gonna go tank. I'm gonna go tank. Tank. Why you choose tank? You um, you love 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 Tank and I, I, I mean I love him too. I mean, sir, Tank is the, the sir, greatest I am to a, ever do it. Sir, I am a huge uh, a huge fan of Tank's vocalist. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, so I chose Tank because um, even though Wanye has always done his thing, Wanye doesn't have have the range that Tank has, and I'm talking about mm-hmm. fluent range. From, like from like you mean like I don't know. From his low register to Tink's low register to no, to I mean I I don't think I, I never heard Wanye in his low register to really even be honest. I believe that he always got the bridge, and when he get that bridge, he just he just gonna take it there. I would choose Tank off of the strength that his musical ear is unmatched. I don't think that there are a lot of people that can think the way that he can, and and timing, like I don't think people really understand. He is very um intentional with his runs he's very intentional with how he hold out notes yeah. and things like that and, and then uh uh when it comes to one yay i'd say uh predictability usually you mm-hmm. know even though you don't appreciate it any less you kind of mm-hmm. know where one year is going to go you know yeah. where it's going to mm-hmm. go so yeah predictability mm-hmm. is, is is a reason why i would choose tank as well yeah you were talking about the 90s of music right so what is what what do you think is missing from music today that we weren't missing back in the 80s and the 90s what, what are like some things that like you will want us to get back to or like get back to like the basics because i know you you're really big in music and, and stuff like that so um with the new music that's coming out what's what's missing i think uh like true identity like true identity we we don't we don't know who nobody is by their music anymore because everyone's no. Everyone sounds the same, even from a vocal perspective. But back in the '90s, who did we have? We had uh, we, we went from Joe to then we mm. had we had uh, Rome. Do you remember Rome? Every time, I Rome. See your face, yeah, 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 uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and even though like Rome wasn't like the the greatest, keep sweating. He was never the dopest vocalist, but it was something that that never. like keep sweating. <laughs> yeah, <Never. laughs> ever, ever, right? <laughs> and it's but, like. But still, Keith Sweat still gave you himself, and he mm-hmm. has a name because it was him. Whether we're going to joke right. about it or, or whatever the case is, it was mm-hmm. still him. It was still unique to him. And so I think that's what's missing, just identity, true identity in music. Um, I put up a post for the Mount Rushmore of performers, and on that list was uh, the greatest performers of all time. Okay, And the, the people were Beyonce. It was Michael Jackson, it was Janet Jackson, and it was Tina Turner. Do you believe that is the Mount Rushmore of the greatest performers of all time? 
I, I have no big issues with those, right? Okay. But but the only person that I, I would had in Would you with, substitute? <laughs> would you substitute anybody out? Listen. Because a, a lot of people substituted. Some people said, which I I totally I totally agree with because a lot of people said Chris Brown, right? Um I, I just didn't think he reached that level level yet. Even though he's a great performer, I don't think he should be on the Mount Rushmore of like all time. Like not yet. Probably when he turns like fifty, you know, and all that stuff, he probably put in. But I believe he has a lot of time, a lot more time to put in because all those people that's up there, they've been in the game for like thirty years. Sure. Like thirty plus so, years. So, okay, so beyond time, <laughs> somebody what, said, "Nope, that's it." <laughs> yeah. So, so beyond time, what constitutes all time? Mm-hmm. We're like, like. It, it, question like I, I think that it's safe to say that we're we're probably not going to find not maybe not until another 50 years are we going to find a dancer singer to do it like Chris Brown is doing for the next 50 years I don't think we're going to do that what okay so who is better Chris Brown or Usher are we talking about vocalists no we're just talking about overall all because nobody said Usher which I think was so crazy because I mean Usher has been doing this for a long time. Do you think that Chris has surpassed Usher? Sheesh. Look, so so. Oh man, I, I'm a '90s guy. The '90s guy want because, me, wants to say uh -huh. Usher because okay. I'm, a, I'm a student of the '90s. Like I want yeah. to, I want to stay true to that, true to that. But when I look at the the, the song and the and the music. And just the da the dancing in itself, man, mm -hmm. and that's a hard one. I, I'm I'm gonna stick with my guns and say Usher. I'm sorry. Well, uh, okay, okay. Did you think that was gonna be good verses? And who do you think was going to win that verse? Um, I was I was choosing Usher from the jump, man. Because I mean, should, so Usher shouldn't be up on the Mount Rushmore of the greatest performers of all time. Because nobody said Usher, and I just thought that was a little crazy. Right? I'm just like, are y'all sure Usher is not supposed to be there too? I think you know Usher has a cleaner criminal history than he so we uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. he's about to make me curse type of music things I know you like to throw wrenches and uh uh <laughs> hammers at me about the stuff that I post when it comes to music <laughs> You, you you know what man I, I i can't you know some sometimes i have to uh you know come over to your neighborhood to, to, to find out what you're doing but no for the most part bro not come I, over to my neighborhood <laughs> to find out what you're doing man but no i really i, I really respect what you're doing man i really respect Thank you I, I do respect your insight man it's it's before i even knew that you sung just by the way you spoke about music i i knew that you were musically oriented um, yeah uh, yeah do you do, <laughs> you do what you do well, bro? I, I'm, I'm, I'm you. telling I you really that, man. That. Um, it, it's not evident that you're not a people's person. It, it's really not. It, oh, it, it does. I mean, it, you, you, you can ask all my friends. Like a lot. <laughs> I know it sounds so bad, y'all. Don't judge me. But anytime somebody says you're such a great people person, I'm just like, oh, you poor little thing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. But, but you, you, you really have a dope light, man. I appreciate. Thank you. Uh, just, just your, your genuine self. I appreciate. I really you, appreciate so, that. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Tell us what should we look forward to in the future, and definitely give like your um, usernames, your platform handles, and all that good stuff, so that mm -hmm. people can follow you. Yes. So, guys, if you uh, even if you're looking in, in my profile, um, there's a link tree that is um, linked to my Instagram, which is one underscore logic underscore, which is the same as. Uh, my Discord, which is the same, uh, well, obviously, uh, TikTok. And guys, you know, I, I, I get a lot of people who, uh, quite a few people who add me on those platforms. Guys, don't forget, you could also add me on Cash App, too. I'm, I'm there. Y'all tend to forget about uh, <laughs> following me on Cash App. Feel free to follow me on Cash App, too. I don't follow follow me on every platform except Cash App, but no. That's the only way to get to heaven is follow me on <laughs> right. Cash App the only way <laughs> yeah but but no that that's what it is um yo I, I appreciate the follows guys um come over to the stream and just see what we're doing i, I have a music based platform and everything yeah. that we do is based around music um whether it's i'm playing the saxophone or the keys or we have a whole bunch of musicians and singers who come to my stream and 
they're on the platform doing their thing and we're just playing different games but it it'll all be music musically oriented so uh yeah just just come come through have a good time